And now we turn to 17th Karen Hua, who's been at that rally all afternoon, speaking with supporters of Senator Sanders. She joins us live now with more. Karen? Well, just moments ago, this amphitheater was completely packed. Thousands of people here who felt the burn today. But the point of today's rally was not only to show support for Bernie, but it was to encourage people to vote. Senator Sanders' campaign really encouraged people to bring their vote by mail ballots so they could collect them and turn them in. And now Senator Sanders also touched on many of his key campaign promises today, protecting immigrant rights by ending ICE raids and taking down detention centers, taking on climate change by transitioning jobs from fossil fuels to clean energy, tackling homelessness by raising the minimum wage and building affordable housing. Bernie also promised $60,000 a year for teachers, making all public colleges tuition free and canceling all student debt in America. Senator Sanders also believes in universal health care and expanding funding for Planned Parenthood. And he also talked about gun control as well. He wants to end the sale of assault weapons and pass universal background checks. But what Senator Sanders really pushed today was taking down President Trump. It's about whether or not we as people have a government based on the principles of justice, compassion, and love, or whether we have a government involved in corruption. So we got 11 days, folks, 11 days to fight for Bernie the way he's fought for us for 40 years. And we got the secret sauce to make sure that we win this county, and that we win the Central Valley, and that we win California, and that we win this nomination, and that we go forward. We go forward, get this nomination, and we give Trump the beating that he deserves. When we stand together, nothing is going to stop us. Put your hand up, y'all. Now, Senator Sanders has already won the primaries in Iowa and New Hampshire with Nevada's election to come tomorrow. But he said today he believes winning California will be key to securing the Democratic nomination. Now, it's certainly been a very political week in Kern County in Bakersfield with President Trump's visit just two days ago. So certainly bringing out both the very red and very blue parts of our county. For now, live from the Spectrum Amphitheater, Karen Hua, 17 News.